Hello everybody, this is your host and friend Normandy Junction, welcoming you back for another episode of Building the Olympic Slash Titanic and as today we are going to be centering on the compass and the upper, well the raised platform which is the centre of the ship which I'm going to show you here. So it's going to be a bit of a big video today because it is a bit of a big structure which I'm just showing you here which I've been working on. I've not completed it myself so I'm going to show you what I can but it also leads down to A deck which is down in the reading room and the lounge. So we're going to concentrate on this today, so I'm going to come over to the Olympic here. But once again, I'd just like to thank you all to the new subscribers that have subscribed to the channel. Uh, it does appreciate all the support and whoever's viewing the video, I hope you enjoyed this as well. But like I say, it's a bit of a long one. Grab yourself a tea, grab a uh, sandwich, anything. Just make yourself comfortable because this is going to be a long one, folks. So let's get going. So we'll start with light grey concrete. Come to the gymnasium side on the starboard side of the ship. So from this block here. You're going to go in by 14, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now the 15th one, which I already marked, <laughs> you need to go out by 33, so that's uh, towards the, uh, the stern. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 33. Okay, now we're going back outwards now, but like I said, we just put, like I say, a temporary block there, but we don't count that. Uh, so this block here is, we're going out by 14, so that's 1, 2, 3. Oh, start again. Actually, we will count that to actually, so I'll just look, really look at my plans again. Uh, see, I've already made a mistake already. There we go. Now, it's a, it is a 90 degree angle, folks. That's 33. So we're going out by 14. Okay, so that was counts as 1. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I'll double check that. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There we go. Now, it's to here where the temporary block is. So we've got a temporary block there block here move that block we don't really need to do that really but it just gets my bearings uh, we're going out towards the stern by 16 so that's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 okay now we need to go towards the uh, starboard side again just part a temporary block where uh, one and another one and another one so we're doing three ones there but going down like is it like going down downwards like a like inverted uh, steps. So the next one, we need to put a block here. And you need to go out by 13. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then we're going back inwards now. So that's 1, 2, 3. Okay. And then we're going to do another block here. And we're going out by 9. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There you go. And we're going back out again. So that's 1, 2, 3. And then once again, we do another 13. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There we go. Now, the next stage is to go inwards again by 1, 2, and 3. And then we're going out is 17 this time. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So end on this frame here. By the way, you can signpost your frames again. So that's frame 14, so that'll be 15. So we're on frame 16 at this moment in time, which is correct on my plans. Yahoo! I'm correct. Right, so we need to go inwards now by 24. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that should line up with the funnel, which it does. So we'll just add a temporary line here as well. Okay, so next stage is we're going to do the other side. So as you zoom out, it is starting to take shape a little bit there. There you go. So we need to come back over to the port side now. And to start off with, let me just get my bearings. Yes, it's this block here. We're on frame. What frame number was this again? I'm losing track. I'm losing track of everything today. See, so preparation is the key, and I'm not prepared at all. 17, 18, 19. Frame 19. Yes, we're on frame 19. Yes, yeah, on frame 19. Okay, frame 19, which is this one here. 
that block and we need to go out by 23. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 and that's 21, 22, 23. I'm just going to double check that folks because I always like to double check because I want to get it right for you guys. This is not an easy build but you know that's what I signed up for and I'm still enjoying it so there we go. Okay so it's that frame there. Yep we're on frame 19 we're absolutely fine. Okay I say we're doing the compass tower as well I've just been getting sound design. I am struggling with the bottom bit the uh, the scaffolds and the poles at the bottom but I'm just going to show you what we're going to do for now. Right so back to the build. So from this block here I'm going to put a block there and you need to go to the stern by 24 so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, there we go, 24, I just want to double check, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Right, 24. Uh, next stage is we need to go out by four, like this, and then another four, and another four, and finally a three. One, two, three, and then we go back inwards by four. Okay, and then another four, and then another four. So that's three lots of four again. So we're back to where we are now. And now we need to do 21. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And then we go outward by three ones again. So that's 1, 2, 3, like that. And then on this one, um, we need to go out by 13. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then you go backwards in by ones. Oh, there we go. And then it's a nine. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me just double check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So we're going back outwards again. So it's one, one, and one. And then we go out again by 13. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There we go. And then you go backwards in by one. One, one, and one. There we go. And we'll go outwards again. Well, sorry, now we'll go to the back again. And this time by 16. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And then we put a temporary block on here. So say we're back on to frame, I think it's 12 or 13, 14, what number is it? Uh, 14, 15, 16, there we go. 50, 60, so we're all lined up now. There you go. So you need to go inwards by 24. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that should line up. Just nicely, just there. But I say we can put one more block there, and that is for the funnel. Okay, so like I say, we can come inwards by one, two, three, four, five. And same again on this side, so that's one, two, three, four, five. So it's completely symmetrical there right now. And what we need to do now is we're going to do the inside frame here around the third funnel, and that should give us the entire ship. So let me just get my bearings again, guys. I do plan for all of this, but like sometimes I just like put the mic on and start filming. And uh, oh yeah, as I say, I'm going to get this video out as quickly as I can because I want you guys to enjoy. Because we've got the Easter period coming up, and also we've got the anniversary of the Titanic sinking. So I'm thinking about doing a live show for that one. Never done one before, so I thought I might give that a go. So twelve and a half. Okay, that's fine. Right. So go back, flying over to the Olympic. There we go. So you need to find frame 12, which is here. Frame 12, put a temporary block there. There we go. And just basically drag it across and line it up nicely with these two lines here. 
Like I said, we're not going to go right to fill up the walls here because this is where another vent is. I was going to do the video on the vents, but I was thinking, I thought it was a little bit boring. So, but it is a video I have to do. But I thought, you know, you guys might want a big, big build for this. So, you know, I'm doing this for you. <laughs> okay, let me just double check on my measurements, everything. Sure, it's, did it say 12 and a half? Or was it 11 and a half? Or was it between 10 and 11? And actually, I just realized there's actually a vent here as well, so I have got a bit wrong here on my build. It's actually this one here, so it's 11, it's in between 11 and 10 on the deck plans. All right, go back. <laughs> We're going back. Going back. Here we go. Right now, so folks, the frame, the end of the frame is between 10 and 11, so that's here. Okay, so we can just pull this right across and to here as well. And just get rid of these blocks there. There we go. Let's get rid of them. There we go. Except I apologize for any mistakes I made. Like I say, it is a big build. I'm not a Minecraft expert. Like I say, I just like to build as I go. So as we go there, that should completely, in fact, what we'll do as well, we'll just join this up to the center of the funnel, which is there. Just align it up nicely. So I'll zoom out a bit. So all this is the reading room and the first class lounge. Okay, so it should look like that. Not bad of you, is it? <laughs> but we've got a bit of a big job now. So what we need to do now is get your quartz blocks. You need to go all the way around and raise it by three. So that's, that's uh, I'll do that as a template like that. Okay, so all the way around. I'll do one, that one, and that one, that one, that one. Like I say, I'll do a jump cut because I say I don't want you guys to get bored. But I'll just do one quickly one. There we go. Inwards as well. Leave it there. In fact, we will go all the way around to here. So you're getting the idea. It needs to be three, well, it's four blocks in total, but it's three quarts high. I'm trying to get the right terminology for my builds and my videos. So for those who understand me, all done. For those who don't, I apologize. Like I say, I'm going to try and cut down the apologies. There we go. Right. There, there, and there, 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 and there. Right, okay, so you're getting the idea. So like I say, we do need to do a jump cut here, because like I say, I don't want this video to be too long for you. So there you go, so you're getting the idea. So like I said, this is still part of the wall. So I'll just raise that a bit. Okay. Right, so like I say, it matches up perfectly there. Let me see, so say it's three blocks high, and it's that the next bit there. Right, okay, so what we need to do now, folks, like I say, get raise those quartz three blocks high, but there's another job you need to do as well. We need to remove everything in between, and I mean everything. But what you can do as well, just to help, okay, we actually, after we've finished raising it by four blocks, we need to start a new frame. Uh, basically a new frame structure. What I mean by that is one, one two, three, four. And then basically, you're, you're, you're raising this entire roof here by four blocks high. Okay, so I'll just do the first one here and then also you join it up to here. Because this is like, say this is the, the lounge and the arena room had a higher roof, you see, because of this raised platform. So like I say, it'll be like that. And also put your signposts on top. But like I say, once you've done that, remove everything here underneath, all the way up to the grey line. Like as so like that. Okay. So like I say, it'll probably take me an hour. For you, it's gonna be a few seconds again. But I will be back in just a moment. I'm just finished doing this one there for you. There we go. 
Like I say, you're getting the idea, hopefully. There you go, like that. So just continue on, and once you've done the frame, once again, get your smooth quartz slab and fill it in. Now, like I say, it's going to take me a while to do, but like I say, it won't be long for you guys, it'll be short for me. So it should look like that. Hang on, let me just finish this one. There you go. So it's going to look like this, basically. So all underneath, all underneath, exactly parallel, is going. Oh, gone, 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 and it's gone. <laughs> okay, right. Won't keep you any longer. So I'll be back with all this completed in just a moment. Okay, folks, so this is how it should look like. Now, I've not put the deck on just yet, so because I only needed a bit of gaps here to show you some light, but this is how it should look like. Hopefully, <laughs> like I say, the next frame is built upwards. Uh, like I say, if there's any interior walls you see, I mean, like over here, I did find like that uh, that wasn't all filled in, but like I say, you just fill it in as you go. There you go. So, the next stage now, what I want you to do, we need a, another piece of concrete. So, I might go for gray color here very dark gray color okay so if you go underneath it should start to look like this now get your gray concrete well this one i've got and towards the edges here i just realized that was powder oh right okay gray concrete let's get it right start again wah, wah, wah. okay and just replace the outer line with this block Got, okay, so you're gonna make wake way all the way around the structure again. Okay, but I only want you to do it from this block here all the way around this edge until you get to the last block here. Okay. So I'll work my way across to show you the reason why for this. Like I say, if you've got any more questions or comments, uh, well, so questions or inquiries about the build, feel free to message me. Like I say, just leave a comment down below. Like I say, I'll respond to you as best as I can. But like I say, I'm just trying to get this next video finished before the Easter period. Very busy time, especially in the UK. And if you're a father. <laughs> uh, I do blame my kids, actually. They're the ones who got me into Minecraft. <laughs> okay. Daddy, play this game with us. Yeah, sure. I'm sure it's harmless. And now look what's happened. Right. Okay. So that's all completed that side. Well, let's get rid of that powder thing. Can't believe I made it by that stake. Okay. So let's just get these ones done. Get rid of them. There we go, let's pull that straight across. And obviously you need to do the same for this side. But on this side, all I want you to do is to go from this block here. I'll put a mark there. There we go. You should see about there, you should see the block. There we go. Actually, we'll leave that one white. What we'll do actually. Give the white because we're on a different sort of edge there, aren't we? It's that one and that one. Okay, so same again for this side. Replace it all. Going right across until you reach this corner one. Just double check if it's this up. Yeah, it's 90 degree edge. Okay. Okay, so I'll just leave that for a jump cut. But what I want you to do afterwards, because we're going to work our way down the next deck here now, is on each. Let someone check this is right. No, that's not right. Hang on. Okay, so on the black line, or the grey, dark grey, just fill it all down with quartz again. So what I mean by this is I'm just doing this example here for you. Okay, 
Uh, apologies if I go a bit quiet sometimes. I'm just trying to get this done quickly as I can. I know you should talk a lot on YouTube videos, but I do struggle for a lot of things to say. So I'll just let the bill do the talk. Okay, let me just check that. No, nope, that's not right. There we go. There you go. And what I mean by that, you just drop it. You just take it all the way to the bottom. Is that the right one? No, nope, it's wrong. It's that one. I'll just repair that as well. Okay, so all you do now is work your way along and fill it all downwards. And as well as well, like I say, these smooth stones, you can replace these with blocks of quartz as well. And I'm going to find it really... I mean, some, I know some of you guys have already built probably built half size now, so that will save you time. But I'm going to have to build the other side. Uh, so as you can see here... Let's uh, so say one, two... How, how many blocks is it down? Is it ten? Let me see if I've got it right. Hang on. That's... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it's 11. 11 blocks, remember that. 11 blocks. Okay. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There you go. So that's 11 like that. It does look a bit odd, but like I say, I can start pulling the... Uh, frames outwards as well. Uh, let's do this other side, so it's 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so like I say, just do this whole complete side and that side as well. And But before we do that, there's one thing else I want to do as well. If you come to the top of the frame, you need frame numbers 8 and 9, so that's 1. Now let's get the other side done. Yeah, here we go. Right, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's frame number nine. So you know that that's frame number ten there. So this is number nine, and that's number eight. So put a block there, okay? And then another block that's in between. That's on block number one, but bow side. So that's stern side, and this is bow side, so it's there. Okay, so what you need to do is get your grey concrete, and you're going outwards by nine on each side. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And same as this side, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it should be 29. So put a block here and a block there. Okay, we're doing that sort of design again. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Well, I thought it was 29. Let me double check. Okay, so we're between 8 and 9. 8 and 9. Eight nine, okay, so that's three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty three, twenty six, twenty nine. I could be wrong, let me double check. This is actually the dome in the centre of the lounge, folks. This is the dome frames, but it needs to be done now. So just bear with me. Famous last words. Okay. Yeah, on one. And on one there. Hmm. Oh, actually, yeah, I've just realised I've, I've gone too far. Uh, bear with me. So we're nowhere near the bow section. It's the number one on the stern side. What I mean by that is, look, that's the centre of the ship there. There's frame number one, frame number two. And we should be on frame that not one, not that one. So I'll get rid of that. Put myself under pressure there. So that should join up now. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Yep. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, temporary block there. So that's one, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, 29. There you go. So that's how it should look like. And what you should do as well, just get your block of quartz and underneath the grey, just put a line like this. So fill in the gaps. Okay, that's that side done. Let's get this side done. Okay, let's put a lot there, put that all the way there. And what you need to do next, folks, is remove everything in the middle. So get rid of all these frames. Like I say, it's going to be an open space where we're going to put the dome. Like I say, there was like a little dome on display in the, in the living room. Or the lounge, as they call it. Of all that, all that's there. Okay, all right. So, like I say, I'm going to do a jump cut, folks, in just a moment. There you go, and that's how it should look like. There you go. So, like I say, it's between frames. Basically, that's frame number one there, and that's frame number two. Okay, so it's on frame number one, but it's all on the stern side. Like I say, this is the stern, that's the bow, and that's the center of the ship. Okay, yes, so that's that sorted, right? So like I say, fill in, I'm gonna fill in down these walls down this side and this side. I might even, I say, extend the frames out as well, because I can see there at the bottom, folks, I'm actually starting to work on the other side now as part of the build, because I know some of you all, will probably have all built the other side of the ship by now, but I haven't. Okay, so I will be back, folks, just as soon as I have done this section. Right, well there you go folks, <clears throat> we should be at this stage now, so I'll just show you inside of the walls, so there should be a wall just like this, and that side as well, so like I say, this is the first gas lounge and the reading room, so I'm going to put some windows in now, so like I say, it should look just like this, this is the starboard side, if I just fly quickly over here, I know some of you like I say, have already done the other side, so it should pair up nicely, and that's the port side as well, okay, so we're just going to finish off one more wall as well. So I say it's looking a bit more like the ship as we know. So over here, as I say, we'd left out this corner, but we can do it now. So I was just checking my plans as well. So I'll put a block here and then remove all of these quartz blocks and put in your dark concrete. Okay. And then underneath, you should come right up to here. This is the wall with the gym on it. But remove this block and replace it that one. And obviously, you just remove all of these blocks here. There we go. And join it up accordingly. And once again, get your blocks of quartz and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I think it's 11. It should be 11. Okay. Just to join these up to be on the safe side. There we go. Like I say, you just got to imagine we're on a deck there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There we go. Done. And we'll join this one, one out to here. Done. Okay. And all you need to do now is obviously fill it in. But I'll finish you off that on the next one. But let's say we're going to do the windows now. So what I use... There's two lots of windows to this. First of all, I use I use light blue stained glass blocks, actual blocks. Now, if we come into this right one on here, you need to find the center, which I think is about here. So I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you go above the gray block and remove these four here and these four here. So you should have a gap of two on each side and replace them with these glass blocks here, okay? So we just need to go over to hit this one as well. It's just the same. So I think it's just the middle just there. So that's one, two, three, four. Fill those in. And then one, two, th three, four. I think I've just got rid of that gray concrete by mistake. I mean, you don't have to use the light blue. Like I said, this is just my guide. So say you can use any gla glass block you like, okay? Now going on to the sides. So remain with your glass block and just remove these three. So it's one, two, three and replace them with the glass blocks. 
and same as this side as well so that's one two and three so let's do this side as well so it's one two and three and on the other side one two and three okay so what we need to do now is over here as i said this is the stern section this is on the starboard side okay mark one block there now this next one is going to be roughly so that's one two three four five it's these three blocks here so that's one two three four five six and then it's one two three so we'll check my plans yep so it's a three there we go so we're going to move on to the next side actually it's one one bit of trouble actually so it's a it's um it's actually a four yeah because this window was a light, slightly bit bigger so i do apologize guys so it's a four so that's one two three four five six six and then a four so it goes there okay all right over to this side there was bear with me let's get my right writing down here checking my notes yep so it's exactly the same as this side so it's a gap of six and we move inwards so it's roughly one two three four five six and it's one two three four so we'll fill that in there there we go so that is that side now done so we just need to now go over to the port side okay so we'll start turn my notes over this side here so once again it's one two three four five six and then it's one two three four okay and then it's these one two three we'll place them same as on the other side one two and three and then get the center block which is roughly there and then you remove four and four there we go and to the other side so look for the center which is there so it's one two three four there you go and then it's one two three four there you go done and then just remove these three one two and three there you go and then these three here one two and three there we go right now it's just going to get a little more complicated now guys <laughs> give me one second right okay so the next one is actually a bit more central oh sorry lost my train of thought there okay so this next one let me just get my bearings on the titanic guys I do apologize flying over there we go Okay, so it's roughly a gap. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's a seven there, but it's going to be a six. Okay, right. Coming back over. Right, here we go. Right, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you remove the next four. There's a window there. Now we're going on to this big window here now, folks. So this one, you need to remove one, two, and three, the middle three. And then you remove one here. And then one here. So it's at least a gap of five, but I think you need to remove this one and this one. Yep, that's right. And then this one and this one. Okay. And the next one, the next stage, is that you need to remove one, two, three, and then one, two. So it's a gap of five. Because they're quite big windows, these ones. Okay. And it's the same on the left hand side of here. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it should look like that. Right, right onto this side here. Last window to go so far. It is roughly going to be a size 5 again. So let me just get my bearings. Okay, yeah, it is 1, 2, 3, 
four, five, six, seven. Okay, so it's a seven. So you move this block, this block, this block, this block, this block. So it is a five. Okay. Like I said, the different size windows, it took me a little while to get my head around it. Now coming on the front bit here. In fact, while we're here, if you put a quartz block here, then a gap of three there, and a gap of three and a quartz block there, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Uh, simpler it is, and then one more, and then get your glass block. Okay, so it is this block here. So that's if you want to count it from the side here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then it is one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll check my notes. Oh, sorry, it's a seven. Yeah, because it's a big window. Big window. Yeah, seven. It's a gap of seven. So we'll just. Okay, here we go. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like I say, use any colour you want. You don't have to be blue, guys. You don't need to copy me. <laughs> uh, right, okay. So now we're going to do the windows on the inside. Okay, and I just remember as well, we've still not done that window uh, frame there. So here, guys. This is looking towards the bow on the port side. Replace this block here. What is it? Yep, that's fine. And then once again, replace all of these quartz blocks so you've hit the wall. There we go. Okay, and you can actually, if I just check my notes, replace these ones on the inside as well can't make that 90 degrees angle because it lines up nicely with the funnel okay so just leave that there for now so place all of these ones here there we go so it gets to the end there because like I said there's a vent here that still needs to go in Okay, so, <clears throat> carry on, going from this corner, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, going down, and then pull it straight across, but leave it like an angle like this, and go your way upwards. Okay, so that's another wall we need to fill in, I think we'll do it actually now, because it does lead to a window. Okay. Right, here we go. That one's there done. I say I'm trying to sound enthusiastic, guys, but I say I'm filming, filming very late at night. Just trying to stay awake. I think uh, a couple more coffees are needed. As we are uh, looking on to the grand staircase there. There we go. Right, done. So we're going to do the window now. So get white stained glass panel. Okay. Now going from the bottom, you need to go up by at least four. Okay. Just double check my notes to be on the safe side. Yep. So it's one, two, three, four. We move the next one out. So we just need to line this up. So it's three to the right and three to the left. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Go up through the middle here. Okay, and let me just check on the other side. Yep, that's fine. We don't go, we don't touch the uh, dark, the dark uh, grey concrete, that one. No, we don't touch the grey concrete. So obviously leave a gap of three and then it goes to the edge on both sides. So it gives you a nice little curve arch. There we go. Okay, so get your panel and start filling it in. It's hard to get this angle just right on a glass panel because it happens like that. It takes a lot of practice. There you go. So that's the first window done. Let's go to that 
let's see what it looks like. So it should look like that. It's a big window. <laughs> right, come back on the inside now. So we're going to do this one. Like I say, you can start from the grey gray if you want, but when you come to the five there, it's a three. One, two, three. And then we this one. Okay. And then you just go to make sure you go no lower than the four, four from the bottom. So that's one, two, three, four. It's this one. Four, five. Move them. Okay, I'll go on to the next window. So what I'm going to do actually, so I'll just holler them all out for you. So like I say, it's no point like me continue to do it. Because like I say, you'll just probably get bored. Okay, so on this one here, we need to remove the middle three. Okay. Actually, hang on. Gone wrong already. <laughs> so I move those three. So let's say one, two, three, four. One, two, three, gone. There you go. And then on this side, one, two, three, four. And move these three. Actually, sorry guys. So if you move the middle three and leave those three on. So that's one, two, three. Very trigger happy on this uh, control pad tonight. There you go. So it should look like this. Okay. That's how it should look like. Now, obviously, I need to show you how to do this curve. So if you get your panel, go upwards. Start filling them all in. You gotta get pinpoint pinpoint accuracy. It's quite painful sometimes. There we go. Done, done, and done. So if you don't, that happens, and that's annoying. <laughs> so one, two, three. One, two. Oh, one, two, three. Sorry, guys. So I'll do this other side, so that's one, two, three. One, two, three. One. And then head downwards. Well, we can go from here. Okay, yeah, it will join up, guys. Just bear with me. There you go, so forth and so forth. go so what you need to do next is get a glass block so it's white stained and put a block there block there just to help you work your way upwards there we go and then just remove these and then put a block at the bottom and just fill it into the bottom there I mean it's not perfect but you know it's the best I can do and then we can just fill the gap going across like that. Okay. Right. So it's the same pretty much for this side as well. So you need to go one, two, three, four, five. Take out the middle three. And then work your way from the bottom four. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Work your way upwards. Okay, so it should look like this. Now, once again, get your panels, work your way up. There you go, so we'll have a little gap there now. Like I say, you just get your glass panel, gas blocks, panel blocks now, work your way up. And just pop a block on there just to finish it off quartz block go from the bottom there like that there you go so you could do the same for the other side as well so let's say once again it is remove the middle three and then one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five, one, two, three, four, five. and again and again Okay, so that's that side done. Now it's exactly the same here as well, but it's just a four here. So we just remove two and then a four. Pretty easiest one to do of the night. Oh, so I say famous last words there. 
There we go. So that's that window done there. And we'll move on to the next one. Now these corner ones are dead easy to do. All we're doing is getting the uh, white stained glass block. One, two, three. One, two, three. Just move them all the way to two, three, four. There we go. And you work your way to the top there. There we go. That's how you do it. And these middle two, four ones, you just remove the middle two like this. And like this. There you go. That's how you do it. And you do the same for that side. Like I say, it's the same repeating process. When you see a four, just take down to the middle two. And like I say, work, work your way downwards. And it's exactly the same for this side as well, guys. As I say, it's all the same. Same pattern, same everything. So like I say, I'll do a jump cut now. But the next thing we need to do, we have got a bit, another big job. So you need to come to the roof now, folks. And get your smooth quartz slab. And like I say, give it a roof now. So you're working your way from the top of the block and fill it all in. Every single one needs to be filled in. Um, sorry, it's a bit of a long job, but <laughs> it's longer for me because I've got to do this before I edit to the next part of the video. Right, okay, so I'll say I'll leave it there and I will be back in just a moment. Right then, so this is what it looks like now with the roof completely sealed off. So I'll fly on the inside to show what it looks like so we're up to so far. And hopefully you're up there as well. So there we go. So that is all the windows completed on the port side. And this is on the starboard side. So it does look a bit strange for it dangling from the roof like that. Uh, but like I say, I will like, you know, get around to doing the outside frame this side. Which is what I'm doing down at the stern there, folks. Doing a little bit here, a little bit there as I start to do the other side. Right, okay, so the next stage, we're going to do some railings. Now, we're going to go back to over here on the port side. Remember what I said before, you need to put one block down, a gap of three. Well, that's how, that's how big the railings are for spaces. So, starting here on the left, if you start with this block, so that's one, two, three, four, five. You need to go five up on each one. So, there's five, there's five, and there's five. So, we're going to go all the way around, and we're going to give each one a gap of three. So, that's one, two, three, one there. Ooh. On the top um also as well we need to put it inwards like this so like i said i should explain that before we're any further so sorry about that three four five my mistake okay it needs to be inside it's not on this white line of, of the quartz box it's basically the one on the inside it's basically resting on the roof okay so let's just remove all these again start again all right okay so so that's a one two three and one here and here will be one two three so we've one there one two three one here one two three one there there and there there so that's one two three there one two three there one two three there one two three so it goes in the middle one two three one two three one two three one two three one oh sorry hang on one two three there one two three and there one two three and there one two three and there one two three there one two three and there one two three and there three gap of three there gap of three one two three there one two three there one two three and there one two three there you go so you're basically getting the idea folks but like i say i'm just doing this side quickly as i can because i need to show you where the staircase goes one two three the little ladders that lead to this basically raised area which houses the compass which is the central part of the ship it was the least magnetic so i shouldn't interfere with the compass as much 
one two three and there okay so on the when you get to the third funnel basically we're going to finish just here but like i say i don't want us to go any more further inwards there or here because there is a couple of rooms here as well which we'll have to do another video so it should look like this so this is the port side that's the port side done okay so like i say what you'll need to do is raise each one up to five one two three four five I double check it is five as well i'm sure it is because like i say wish we'd written down all my notes here we go one two three four five yes it's a five okay heading back <laughs> okay so like i say what i'll do next is we'll go over to the port side okay starting on this wall here so that's that one block there gap of three gap of three it's a little easy on this side because we're actually right on the frames okay gap of three there gap of three gap of three gap of three one two three there one two three there there and there one two three there one two three there one, two three there one two three here one two three uh, I do apologize folks I just realized I am not on one inwards so I'll just move all these ones back in my mistake and I realize it's not going to be parallel as well it's not gonna uh, start again start again start again from the beginning so one two three there you go Like I said, I did say it was going to be a long video, guys. So one, two, three. So it's there. One, two, three. There. One, two, three. There. One, two. One, two, three. Two, three. Yep, it's there. One, two, three. There. There. And there. One, two, three. One, two, three. Back on the frames go one two three one two three there and there one two three 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 and like i say we'll leave it i say just about there because as i say i don't want to go any more further towards the stern on this section here so like i say these were all the railings are going to go so you'll need to raise them all by five but I'm, what i'm going to show you now is we're going to do four little staircases okay so to start off with come over to the starboard side which is here and the first one is marked here so one two three four five one two three four five what you need to do next is get yourself a slab any slabs it doesn't matter which ones uh so we'll have uh we'll go for the oak slab we'll have an oak slab hang on okay so what you need to do next is to put them on the center so that's one two three okay and then you put them onto the quartz here one two three and then you need to start working your way down so one two three an easy way to do this is to do a one two one two one two and remove these blocks here same again turn the block here one two three one two three one two three now you just go to the side and remove the first lot two and the next one just rests on the deck and that's what the staircase looks like so get your quartz blocks here and go up each side by five three four five okay and then it is well it's not this one not on it's this one so you need to put a block here and a block there and go up three four five two three four five so it should look like this now what we need next folks is your quartz stairs let's put that on there okay now remove the top one top blocks on these railings uh these posts sorry one and that one okay 
And to make it a bit easier, I start here. I start with a block there and a block there. And it should go like that. And then you press one on the top there. But I do apologize. You just move, you keep the back top one as it, as it is. So we'll just move that one and that one. So I'll just turn around again. So it should look like that. Get back to your quarter step. So you just put one there and one there. Okay. Now going downwards. Okay. You need to put, come from the back. So there's one here. A one there is that sort of angle and you just rest it on top as well so it's one there and a one there okay and same goes for the other side this side here so you've got to try and get it like that and then you just add it there like that okay so once again from this side try and get it it is immensely difficult because our back's against the wall. Like that. And then you put it on the top like that. And then the top like that too. And there you go. So it looks exactly like this. Like I say, it's not perfect, but you know, hey ho, it's Minecraft. So we just need to do the middle rail now. So you need to put one block there and one block there. So it's roughly one, two, three, fourth block up. And it's basically second block from this one here. And same again, if you aim for the second block, put a staircase there and one in front of it, and then just one on top and remove that one. Okay. Same for this side, I'll just repeat the process. Second one from the bottom, two stairs, move it and then put one on the top. And there you go. So you need to repeat that process three more times. And I'll show you where they are. I'll mark them for you. Come back over here. Okay. Okay, so that's that one there. Let's go back over to here. This is an easy one to do. Okay. It's over here. It's the second one in. Okay, so it's not this one against the wall. It's this one here. Okay, so that's two marked. Let me find my notes. Right, so that's the third one. Okay. And then the last one is actually at the end here. So we have come up with a bit of a difficult angle. So what we'll do is remove this block and put it on the quartz block. Okay. So that's one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, because we don't want to block this window here, you see, right? So like I say, if you want to repeat the process, how it did, did that staircase, you have to repeat it now three times, like I say. So the bottom stairs will be at the bottom there. Come back to this one. You put it there. And the final one. is you put the block there now to do actually the actual the actual railings okay you get your you need actual just quartz slabs now going for the top block aim for the bottom so that's one two three same again okay so we're going for one two three one two no, that's not right hang on i'll just double check my notes now let me just check how i do it one more time folks so i'll go look at the titanic flying over again I think I've done it like I say it, it was gonna be a long video guys okay so it's bottom one and top one right okay I've got it now I've got the pattern in my head okay flying over back to the Olympic okay so going from this block here the second one aim for the bottom and then this one here aim for the top so it's given the illusion. So there's like one, one slab, one slab, one slab, one slab. There's a gap of two. So that's how we do it. So I'll just do another one for you. So from the second one from the bottom, aim for the bottom. And from the third one, aim for the top. And the fifth one, aim for the bottom. Okay. And you just follow that pattern all the way around. There you go. 
and so forth and so forth. So like I say, when you get to the corners, I'll just add all that together, hang on. So like this one here, this is a three. So that's one, two, and a three, like that. One, two, and a three. And another two here, so let's join these up. So that's one, two, and three. Okay, I mean, you know, to make it a bit more, that's the best I think I can do it, really. Okay, so like I say, I'll do a jump cup now, folks. Like I say, if you work your way all the way around to all the pillars we've marked towards the end one here, and please do the staircase as well, and we'll be on the final stretch of the video. So once again, I'll be back in a moment. And before we go any further, folks, I did realise a mistake I have made. <laughs> As I was going along uh, while I was offline, I noticed that here on the uh, port side, uh, there was a gap of just two. So, I have made it now three. I've corrected all the way along this side, so the final one will be literally at the end. So, I do apologise for that. So, once again, hey, oh, you make mistakes. Uh, so the final pillar is this one here, but the last one goes in right at the end. So move all your pillars by one, guys. So sorry about that, and I'll be back in a minute again. And I'm back again, folks, and I'm afraid it struck again, but this time on the port side. Yes, I've gone wrong again. Now, the entire panel here is absolutely fine. It's just after the staircase, I realized I actually did a one, two, three, four gap. So, yes, so it should look just like that. So if you go up uh, once again and remove this post here, I just put a slap there because I've already corrected it all here. So that should give you a gap of three. So it's one, two, and a three. I, <laughs> I got I've done it again. So basically, that results basically the N1, the staircase, correctly just before the pillar, as it should be. I had a feeling in the back of my head that it was wrong. But okay, so like I say, I'll get this done. And I will be back with you in once a moment again. Right, folks, after two mistakes, hopefully it should look like this. So like I say, this is to complete with all the uh, railings on. I've completed the four steps. So there's one, sorry, four staircases. So let's just say there's one there completed. And two over here as well. That's the third one, and this is the fourth one. But what else have I done while uh, I was doing this? I completed the starboard side of the deck. There we go. So that's part of the recording. So it just shows you, like, say, I look, it was looking a bit strange with the wall hanging there. So I thought I better do this. Better do something about it. But this is the inside of the reading room. This would be this is room here, and this is the first class lounge. This room here. It was quite a beautiful room from what I saw in the pictures. Especially on the Titanic and the Olympic class. Very, very nice. Anyway, time to finish off. Okay, so what you can do, you need dark oak slabs. So on these uh, two decks here, just put dark oak along the edge. You don't have to use dark oak if you like, anything you like, but I like to use it. So just do a, like an edge here. I'll do this side. It's the same for the other side as well. Okay, so let's get all that in. One, two, three, and there. As I say, I'm going to wish you all a happy Easter as well, if you all, all those who celebrate it. Hope oh, you all have a good one. And, uh, you know, watch, watch you brush your teeth. <laughs> okay, so that's one line in. So go to the top. Okay, you can put, if you put a dark slab there, put it on the outside as we speak. Like I say, we haven't uh, begun to touch this deck yet until we've done the lifeboats, but we can put this one line down. There we go. So one and one there. Go right across. There we go. One, two, three. Okay. So that's in now. Underneath the staircase. Okay, well, I'm just going to do it about here because I say I just want to leave this bit blank for now. And can you do the same as well on the inside? So we're just working your way across. 
Okay, so that's one, two, three, one, two, three. There we go. One, two, three. There you go. Okay, so join it up here. Go straight across here. There we go. So it should look like that. Going right across to the wall. Okay, and you can go along this wall as well. That's absolutely fine. As I say, we've still got the vent to do. Okay, it's up there. Uh, work your way around. On this side as well. So you're getting the idea. But what else you need to do as well, just to finish off, get your you will have some smooth stone stuff, smooth smooth quartz slab, and just fill in the bottom there, bottom on the rail. Put it for a different colour, makes it look a bit nicer. Okay. So like I say, I won't be doing this, I'll do another jump cut for you, but there is one more thing we need to do. So once you've finished all the smooth, smooth slabs, okay, so you work your way around, and then you just basically do dark oak slab. I mean, it could be any colour you want, but I, I use the dark oak slab. Gives it a nice finish. Okay, so I'll just leave that there. And also, you need to do the centre here. So I'll put you, get your dark oak slab. Like I say, I don't have that much time now to do the compass tower. Like I say, I'll have to save that for a number of videos, so I apologise for that. Like I say, I did say this video was going to be a long one. Okay, so it should look like that. Oh, trust me to get it wrong there. There we go. And also, for this section here of the dome, just get a block of quartz and raise it by one. There we go. all the way around done there you go now this section here is covered so you get your smooth this is what i'm going to use smooth slabs but i'm going to leave it half done because like i say because i want some light to go in so i'll just pull that across here but it does need to be like fully covered so i'm just going to go halfway okay so that's that covered there and just work your way across there there you go so like I say I'll just leave that there ready for the jump cut so I'll just leave that there for now so like I say it's gonna go all the way up to the edge there you go so we just need to fill the rest of that in but another thing you need to do as well the dark oak slab if you come to this section here Go straight across and just don't go over the quartz the quartz blocks basically. It goes right across here as well. There we go. And you just join it up to the end there. Oh sorry, like I say, you have to go one in on this section here. Let me check that other side as well as coming back in the funnel here. Yeah, I went wrong there. I promise you it's my last mistake of the night. Get rid of that. There we go. Uh, there we go. Right, so smooth slab. So like I say, you should work your way around. It should look something like that for now, but like I say, I do need to finish it off. And the whole section's in the middle. You can put birch down or whatever you're using for the deck so all that needs to be filled in that section there if you come over to the promenade deck the same needs to be done for down here so you can just fill that in and also as well replace the smooth stone with the quartz slab but this section here where the smooth stone is not this line here that can be filled in but don't put anything on here because it was like a drainage for like any sea water came over the side of the deck for there, we could just put a either a trapdoor or another slab. It's entirely your choice. With me, 
I personally, I don't want the gates. Uh, I got a Arcadia trapdoor, and I just put him down like that because it looks, it looks, it, it's the best it's got. So it's like that, you see. There. So like I say, you continue on that. Like I say, I'm going to do one more jump cut and just one more thing, just for a little bit of effect. Um, get your buttons. Out stone button or normal button, whatever they are, <laughs> and basically where each post is on the railing, just put a little, little button down there like that. You don't have to do it, but it's just for little cosmetics for me personally. There we go, right done there. So, like I say, we're not doing any of the deck here, so we'll leave that all that blank is set for that. Uh, dark oak slab I mean what you can do actually is basically you could take this all the way around the gymnasium which we were working on before there's no harm in doing this now if I just do a little uh, there we go cover it all and it's the same for the other side as well take it all the way up to the bridge so I'll just fly over here now with this it's just a little thing we can do. So basically every time you see the grey concrete, just put the slab down. Try and hot gut too high, like I have done. Just keep going, 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 going. There you go, work your way into the bridge. There we go, so that's a little bit extra than we're doing tonight. <laughs> and just work your way around. So you go up, this is the wheelhouse. There we go. And so far, so we're working our way back. We'll do a full lap here. There we go. But okay, so I'll leave it there. Like I say, we can work our way around back now. Right. And we finish this off, folks. And back to the middle of the ship okay right so I will be back in just another moment and there you go folks that is the finished product of today's video <laughs> uh, as I say it's been a long one and thanks for sticking around guys so, so this is the final uh, well the final look of this raised uh, the compass pop ship's compass platform and this is how it should look. Let's, let's just give it a good fly around first before I finish the video. There you go. And we've done the inside as well. So this is how it should look. Looking down here. Looks a bit strange there with the grand staircase out. There we go. Let's have a little fly down here along the promenade deck. As we head back into the inside as well. Okay. There we go, so I say that's the lounge, reading room, back over to this side, over to the starboard side of the ship. And I say that's been done as well. So yes, that is now complete. As I say, if you like what you've seen, if you don't mind, give it a like, or if you're new to the channel, please give, it, give my channel a subscribe. It does help my channel grow. But I would say I want to thank you to all my subscribers and current and new subscribers as well. I say a big thanks to you all for sticking around for me. Uh, like I say, uh, it's now Easter time, so it's a little bit of holiday time for my children from school. As I say, we'll be working our way towards the third funnel next. And then a couple more structures there, the fourth funnel as well. And the second class uh, staircase as well. And the aft grand staircase as well. So some more structures to go. Um, we've still got to do the insides as well. And so we're working our way down to the boiler rooms. Lots and lots of more to come. So please, hopefully, you can all stay around. Switch on your uh, notifications as well if you want to get the latest on any new videos I do. But I'll leave it there. Okay, so I'll just fly over here. Might as well head back to the Grand Staircase. So like I say, look after yourselves, guys. Stay well, stay, well, stay safe. And I'll see you all in the next one.